Uh, good morning, Ms. Uh, Ms. Taylor. Um, I came in today to, as we have already discussed, plan through email to go over your lesson plan to review a lesson with you. So I, we'll start off by um, informing me, let me know what you plan on doing with the kids, and of course, you know, I will observe, and we'll get I get with you at the end of the lesson as and share with you um, my thoughts what I came up with. Today. Okay. Good. The lesson that I plan on doing over the next two weeks is a modified research paper. I do not do the full length of the research paper for the sake of time as well as because it's too in depth for my students to amplify to the level of a college research paper. So the standard that I picked was to use multiple sources, which is to allow them to, the opportunity to go to the library to provide um, an opportunity for them to look for different articles relevant to the topic that they chose in class. Now, I also coupled it with the writing standard, simply because the scores in our system were low when it comes to writing as far as the ACT. So even though it's a research-based paper, there's going to be a section where we do an abstract. Okay. The abstract is going to be primarily their wording, paraphrase based on what they read. Now, the questions that I plan on using um, throughout the lesson is <clears throat> how can they use the topic that they selected to address an important issue within the school or within their community? So most of their topics vary from school violence, how important is wearing a seatbelt on a school bus, basic topics that they can somewhat relate to but find more research on in different cities or states. How can this issue be addressed to best help this target audience? Um, when they begin to do their presentations, I have required them, and this is probably just um, me figuratively speaking, a PowerPoint. After they have done their research, I want them to share with their classmates how important this particular topic was to them and how they found out information that's relevant to their classmates. And the last question is, how can awareness of this health issue prevent or decrease the problem? Now, I put health issue there just to give them an idea of what we're talking about. Now, their areas are, they range from different things, like I shared with you, school bus. Uh, it could be um, issues such as school violence, or it could be peer pressure, peer pressure or anything relevant to them as they journey through this school year. Um, after we select their topic, my expectations of them is to primarily go to the library and research articles on or through Alabama University Library. Um, I have to, before we go to the library, share with them how to get to the site, how to stick with high school articles, peer review articles, and within the last 10 years. That's something that's fairly new to them, and I kind of introduced it for, for, you know, prior to us preparing for this particular lesson that I'm going to discuss. After, um, hmm, after we do the topic, which is where I'm kind of stuck with uh, gathering some information, after they turn out their article, do you think I should, um, go into how to write the paper, or should I allow them time to review their paper and we just highlight the different paragraphs that they're gonna use? Because I have to show them how to annotate. I have to show them how to do a work cited page, and I don't want to overwhelm them. I think we should go with the review. Because yeah. of all the other components of the paper that you're requiring them to have, I think we should go with the review first, not, not to overload. Okay, so once I go to Alabama Virtual Library. Let me just kind of show you how I plan on approaching it. I was going to allow them to follow me on the smart board. We were going to go to Alabama Virtual Library. I was going to show them how to get to their high school component only. And because it has a wealth of different resources that they could use, I was only going to Esco host so that they can find their article. Right here is where they will type in their topic, and I'm going to use just this random one that a student shared with me if it could possibly be a topic. Now, before they actually click on these different um, resources, 
adult fiber tips over here to the side. I'll, of course, peer review articles are the only one that they can. And I wanted them to do at least 10 years. A 10 year um, gap between the articles that they submit. Do you think this is too much for them to do? Um, what about my other population? Now, I think this is fine considering you do teach 12th graders and for those that do choose to further their education, this is the requirement, something they're going to have to do once they go into um, 